During these extraordinary times, are you seeking friends and collaborators, like-minded, brilliant, beautiful souls who want to be a part of creating the new earth? Here is the answer. Welcome to Soul Search. Soul Search is the high frequency global online destination for spirituality and consciousness. This is a multi-dimensional community for spiritual seekers, healers, teachers, and guides for the global awakening. With Soul Search, the spiritual seeker can easily search for and connect with healing modalities, spiritual teachings, practices, and practitioners. Within the Soul Search community, you can join groups or take courses for your spiritual journey. With Soul Search, you are part of an inclusive, growing global community for consciousness. For spiritually conscious practitioners, Soul Search connects you to a global audience seeking your services. Post client reviews, articles, videos, photos, and audio. You can create secure and private online communities for your groups and clients. Be a part of an awakening community for spirituality where you can collaborate and connect with practitioners and seekers. Whether you are a spiritual seeker, healer, or just curious, join soulsearch.io today. just so excited and honored and privileged to be introducing our next presenter, Raquel Spring. And she is an incredible, multi-dimensional, evolutionary, fourth generation astrologer. She is evolutionary and revolutionary, I would say, because she has such a unique method and multi-dimensional approach to astrology, which allows her to dive deep into the heart and soul of any chart, an astrologer like no other. And she is actually from Brazil. She has an incredible story of herself and her um, escape into freedom from her lifetime um, as a younger person in a cult in Brazil, which gives her this incredible self-knowledge, self-awareness, and experience that she brings forth in all of her work that she does, um, which includes mentoring, teaching, writing, videos, retreats, speaking events, and private sessions. And she combines her technique with spirit, bringing astrology to many from the eyes of the soul. So she is really speaking and teaching from the depths of her soul, the depths of her heart. And she has such an incredible view of, of who we are and where we've come from and where we're going from an astrological perspective, not just in this lifetime, but from ancient times, Lemurian times, Atlantean times and beyond. So I am just so excited and grateful to have Raquel joining us today. Welcome, Raquel. Raquel, you're muted. Okay, great. There we are. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Hey, Raquel. Oh, I can hear you. Welcome, lovely. Hello. Good morning. There is just so much heart space happening here. I've been here silently in the background, just listening and with you all in this beautiful chat this morning. And it's just been so heart opening for me. Thank you. And thank you everyone for being here as well. Everybody watching this live and of course in the replay as well. It's such a joy to be with you today. Mm. Okay, so do I just take over? Do I just begin? <laughs> you can just get started. I will get started. So here is my medicine that I want to share with you today. And first of all, just want to say thank you for joining in hearts, joining in awareness. As I always say to my community, thank you for adding to the light of awareness on the planet. So every time that you give your attention, every time that you share your presence, and your gifts, your knowledge, your insights, anything, every time that you participate in these, in these community gatherings and events, you are helping to add to the light, the new light that is coming into the planet. So thank you. Mm. This is what it's all about. You know, at the end of the day, it really is about us understanding that we are one. 
on a physical and tangible level where we can come together as community and amplify this light, this love, this truth. And this is very much an energy that I've been speaking about recently that has to do with the age of Aquarius. And that has been a big theme of my my talks recently. And I want to share a little bit of insights here today on this. And even for people from my community that are watching this and have already heard me talk about this before, I'm going to bring a slightly different perspective here um, just to add a new depth of information to this Aquarius energy that's coming in. So many of you have heard already the term the age of Aquarius. And the age of Aquarius is a very real cycle, if you will, a cycle that we as a humanity experience. And we have these cycles that change about every 2000 years. And when these cycles change for us, it changes the entire filter of our experiences on the planet. So, I mean, we are talking about 2000 years and, you know, there are studies and we can go way back and uh, dive deeper. And I actually have videos when, where in my YouTube channel, where you can go and, and hear me talk more deeply about these eras and these ages and these cycles. But the heart of the matter here is that at this stage, we are transitioning from one age to another. And this is why what we are nearing that very last little stage where we are fully moving into the next one, which is the age of Aquarius. And so this is why through astrology, we can clearly see that all that is happening is that we're going through a transition. And it can feel like an ending for many. And it can feel like a death for many. And that's part of the process. And this is why when we understand the bigger picture, we can ride the wave with fees and grace. And what that means is that you ride the wave in full surrender, in full relaxation, that everything is as it should be. We are at that part of the cycle where we're ready to transition into the age of Aquarius. And as a matter of fact, I mean, that is the reason why we're here. We have been calling the sin by sheer virtue of being on this planet, being born here, and then starting to see new ways to live life, right, to leave the matrix, and every time that we've made the decisions that we made and we made the choices that we made and we've prioritized health and wellness and awareness and love, and every time that we did that, we brought more and more this new era into our reality. And so now here it is, ready to be crystallized into our physical experience. So a big part of my work right now in these last couple of years, especially, has revolved around ha uh, helping people, whether it's through private sessions individually or in groups, events, retreats, summits like this, where through the gift of astrology, I help you understand the greater picture of what's happening. In your personal life, in the world, you know, where the energies are going into next. And when we have that bigger perspective, we don't feel so overwhelmed by the not knowing, the unknown. And we start to understand because at the end of the day, in our heart and soul, when we hear these truths, our heart and soul says, yes, there is that inner yes that comes forth when we hear these things. And that is your inner truth. So here are some of the things that are coming in, even as we surrender what has been up until now and the ways that we've lived our lives and a lot of the people we've related to and the jobs we've done and the things we've been attracted to. And as we allow those things to just naturally 
erode or dissipate or however it is that they want to transition. And we look at what is coming in. And we look deeper into the energy of Aquarius. We see that this energy is bringing a very new paradigm into the picture. And this is a paradigm that essentially revolves around advancement. Just think of that word, advancement. And this is key because this is going to be reflected in the next decade and two ahead of us. It's going to be a, a very powerful advancement coming in. This wave that you're going to see reflected in every area of your reality, starting from your inner self. And we're going to talk about that because that's the biggest focus here. But you're also going to see it in society. You're going to see new solutions coming in, new technology coming in, uh, new every, most of the things we have today are going to become relics very fast, very soon, because this is about bringing in the new. And this new energy just happens to be about advancement. And so the advancement of the energy of Aquarius really comes in essence from a state of illumination. It is very much a mental state. The energy of Aquarius is related to air. It's an air sign. And Aquarius has to do with the mind, but it's not the linear mind. As a matter of fact, Aquarius represents the information, the cosmic information. So if anything, Aquarius represents the mind of God. This is where all the stars and the constellations and the universes are at. I mean, this is it. And the Aquarius energy represents the awareness of all there is. We're not the only one. You know, in, in astrology, when we reach, when we, when we go through the all the signs of the zodiac and we reach Aquarius, we reach a stage of awareness that we are not alone. And that is where the essence of humanity and community comes in with Aquarius, because that's also a very strong signature of Aquarius is humanity and community. So the reason for that is because all of a sudden you see the whole cosmic web. You see all the dots of light and the interconnectedness of all of that. That is Aquarius. And so because Aquarius represents the cosmic information, it also represents cosmic family. So this is why we are seeing the doors more and more open to our cosmic family. And I know that Portal to Ascension, they they have a big focus on that as well. And I I I was uh, with Neil just a month ago and um, talking about how this is the time. If there was ever a time that where the doors are opening to our cosmic family, the awareness of them, the contact with them, the interconnectedness that we are. I mean, this is it. So especially the years 2023 and 2024, it really starts to crystallize. There's something, there's a big turning point that happens in, in 2024, but it begins in 2023. So these next two years is really where we're going to start to see the energy of Aquarius come in like never before, which has to do with that advancement and the illumination. I want to stick to these two as the key words that you can remember. Advancement, you can think of all of the, the new technologies coming in, the, the advancement in society, the, the progress that we're ready for, the restructuring of our governments. Um, that's why I, I, don't, I don't know where the elections this year is going to go because <laughs> everything right now wants to end. <laughs> if anything, everything wants to end. Um, it's like 2024 is where you really start to have the first signs of visibility of this, this new energy coming in in a more obvious way. But we're still in that transition of the old dissipating and the new coming in. So the advancement brings in the energy of progress, of, of technology, of, uh, you know, new, we're going to start to see new forms of, of uh, resources coming in, 
you know, tapping into solar power is a big one as well. And we're going to see this energy trickling, not trickling, but bursting through every area of our government as well, which is um, the educational system, the financial system, and all of these aspects of society that are dissolving right now and their, their structures. That's why we need to let them go. Um, there are new ones ready to come in. And these new ones are in alignment with the advancement, with the, you know, well, what's healthy for the planet? What is in the best interest of the all and humanity and the collective? So that's with the advancement. And then with the enlightenment, we just open up to that cosmic information, which is, you know, we, then we have the cosmic family coming in. Now we see that we don't need to do channeling anymore. Now it's like, all right, here they are. <laughs> Let's just all have a meeting. And it's like we're transitioning into a new reality with, with the same things that we've been developing. So cosmic family and what that means is, is going to take on a new shape for us. And this is where we can welcome and celebrate this, this turning point for humanity because it's time. It's time. So along with the enlightenment, we also start to see a very real evolution of consciousness that is happening. So remember, Aquarius is the sign that is related to air, which is the mind. And Aquarius is not even the mind, it's the cosmic mind. So here we are emphasizing a new paradigm coming in. For those of us who are ready and willing, which I know everyone here is, otherwise you wouldn't be here. And these are those of us that are ready to expand our awareness of everything of who we are, of reality. And, and this is where we are, we are migrating from this um, beautiful process of healing to becoming aware and to just be. And it, I thought it was really beautiful where there was a part that all of you were, were sharing here before I got in. And especially Neil was talking about, you know, just realizing, well, this is a part of my personality. I don't always have to be all bubbly and joyful and talkative and I'm this way. And, and I will tell you, there is something so liberating about that because you're living your blueprint. You're living your blueprint. And when you do that, you give yourself permission in that relaxed state to access new parts of your brain because you don't have the, the clutter and the restriction and all the, the things that have been weighing the energetic, quite real, the, the energetic clutter in your brain to keep you from using your full potential of your awareness. So now we're having these, these epiphanies of awareness and you're realizing now, for example, with the story that Neil shared that it's no longer about healing for him. Now it's like, okay, now I'm aware this is, this part is my blueprint and I can just relax into it. And when you relax into your blueprint, life just works, you know, it just suits you better. So people resonate with you and you resonate with life. And so we are reaching a stage right now in this, in this phase of opening our, our awareness to welcome more more um, awareness, more consciousness, where we're starting to see reality in a new way. We're starting to understand ourselves and our potential in a new way. And this is the bottom line of what I want to get to here in this, in this message for you, because we are all transforming on some level, in some way, shape, or another. I don't care how long you've been on the path and doing the spiritual work. <laughs> there is a massive level transformation that by sheer virtue of being on this planet, you have chosen to be a part of. So to whatever extent and degree you are holding this piece of transformation for humanity, honor that. Allow it to be because the more relaxed and joyful you are with the process, including the process of letting go and surrendering and letting certain people go and make their choices and letting things be as they are, 
so that you can put yourself in this very zero state, neutral state of emotions to receive. The zero state is the most relaxed state there is where you just are one with all, the void and the all. And in this state, this is beyond your he- your ego choosing. This is your divine knowing. You welcome your new truth. You welcome that new truth with every cell of your being. Because I am here to confirm and guarantee that the new is here. This includes the new you. Because just as much as you have signed up to be a part of the transformation, you have also signed up to be a part of the new energy that's coming into the planet. So this is where we start to see a very exciting development of reality coming in, where we start to welcome more of ourselves, our gifts, our potential. And along with this energy coming in of Aquarius, We are also transforming how we show up in the world. And that is why it's okay for things that you used to resonate with before to no longer resonate with you. (sighs) I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart. I work with private clients all the time with looking at their personal charts and what they're going through in this transformation and So many of us, we are starting to lose interest or just watch parts of ourselves that are like right in front of our eyes. Like what happened? (laughs) Or sometimes we um, just want to sleep more or we don't even really know. We, We kind of feel aimless or directionless some days because there's so much that is coming, going. Our perception of time, our experience of time is changing. So it really is about just getting into that relaxed state that zero state, this is the eye of the hurricane that I am inviting all of you to anchor yourselves in because it's easy to get caught up in the hurricane. But when you get into the eye of the hurricane, you can breathe and relax because you know all is well. So in this state, you're inviting in the new awareness of what's coming next. And what is coming next is a massive advancement in society for the collective and most especially in our consciousness. This is where the sky is going to be the limit. This is infinite. We have 2,000 years ahead of us to explore the energy of Aquarius, which has to do with activations, with awakenings, and quite literally awakening to the superhuman that has been dormant inside of us all along. And I don't only mean the superhuman in the emotional and awareness sense, I am quite literally talking about a physical and biological and even genetic modification that we as a humanity and a society are at the cusp of right now and entering. So the age of Aquarius is bringing that as the new filter to our reality. And it is our responsibility to be aware of what we're walking into so that we can choose with awareness, even as the new technology starts to come into our planet. Choose with awareness. Because the ultimate technology that is being awakened right now is you. And always remember that. So that as we invite these new advancements in society for all of us, we can do it with awareness and in harmony with our biological bodies, with our, which is a direct extension of Gaia. This is the new awareness now that is coming through the heart. So this is where we're going to be making some big decisions now as sovereign beings, 
as to what freedom really represents to us at the end of the day. Not just to the ego, but freedom to the soul. And in this state, we are inviting the new awareness that is naturally coming in, a big burst of intelligence, a big burst of awakening, of activations, and literally awakening our superhuman powers. In the next few hundred years, this is going to be more and more normal. So this is why all the movies have been planting the seeds and preparing the way in, in many ways. But this is about us now taking everything to the next level and doing it from the heart. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute with you because I know it was a lot of information. And let me take a look at some of the comments hmm, see if we have any questions. There's one question from... George, and I want to invite any of you that do have questions. There is a, a couple minutes left here that I can answer a couple questions. So you may ask, I know that was a lot of information to sit with. Uh, George, if you don't know your birth time, there are two things that I suggest. The most efficient one is going online and ordering a second copy. It's your personal certificate. You have the right to order a second copy. If it gets lost, something happens, go in there, order a second copy, and make sure you choose to add the birth time. Otherwise, they'll send you a second copy without the birth time, but choose to add the birth time in the second copy. That's the most effective one. Okay. If you don't have access to that, then my second option would be to go to a astrology specialist that helps you pinpoint the exact time you were born. I don't know how to do that. This is called chart rectification. So that's how you get your birth time. And that would be my second recommendation to you. And so I want to really just thank you all for being here with me in this beautiful space because I see that there are many people that are adding beautiful comments and uh, just resonating with that, contributing to the yes, the yes, the yes. And this, this yes is exactly what I was talking about in the beginning, where even though in spite of the chaos and in spite of the intensity and the pressure, your soul just listens to this and it's your truth. This feeling of yes, I want you to anchor that. What does it feel? Right now, to me, it feels a little bit like the butterflies in the stomach, like but, but a light feeling, like a nice whew. And to you, it may feel like something different. It may feel like a warmth around your heart, a relaxation in every nerve and muscle of your body. Get used to that. Your body's truth is your lifesaver. So your body is saying yes to this. This is your body's truth. And I'm so grateful for all of the beautiful um, comments that are sharing the resonance to that. Um, and and Tangela does have one question here. <laughs> what is your advice to people struggling to let go of the old paradigm? So we were born into during this transition. Oh, you know, I feel like more and more it's becoming a non-negotiable aspect and it really is about us just realizing that we're done suffering. It's just as simple as that. And that's going to go also for a lot of healing and the way that we view healing, because in many ways, many of us, we're done healing. And it doesn't mean that we're done feeling emotions, okay? There is a next level way of experiencing emotions, and that's a whole other topic and, and, and what the energy is for when you cross this, this new stage. But a lot of us are realizing like, okay, now it's not about healing. Now it's about understanding. Now it's about, you know, <laughs> there's next stages of how we deal with these energies. So I feel like we're there. I feel like we're all getting ourselves to this place where we're just like, you know, I'm done suffering. Like I, what the suffering that comes to our life is when we resist what is trying to naturally happen in our life. When we're trying to hold on to something that is ready to go. 
And sometimes it's easier said than done, I know. Sometimes that involves the last 30 years of our life, for example, you know, and all the memories. And, and that is why this is very much a part of our ego that's dying. Because all the 30 years that you've built around that marriage or that house that you lived in, and it's all dissolving. And, and this is what I mean about you have to be okay with surrendering and, and allowing what needs to go to go. Go through the process of mourning and then don't hold on to the the bitterness of it, the story, like, let it go. If you need to cry, cry, cry with love, cry with gratitude for the, the transition of one phase of your life into another. Mm. Mm. Open minds, loving hearts, love, joy, abundance. So many beautiful words here as well. Sovereign, multidimensional self, infinite paradigm. Mm divine DNA, cosmic library. I love your comments. Just extracting some keywords here, full of power. And as we close this time together, and I just, with love, thank all of you for being here. I want to invite you just for the last few seconds to open your hearts. Open your hearts and your bodies to that big yes, 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 yes. You don't need to have the whole map right now, but just say yes and welcome and love that just as it is. Because at the end of the day, it's all helping us to bring in the new paradigm and the new era that we've been calling in. So, yes, we are ready. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much, Raquel, for that beautiful, beautiful transmission. Thank you so much for tuning into this podcast. This is Neil, founder of Portal to Ascension, and just closing out this podcast here and letting you know that what you're experiencing are all types of presentations that we have on Portal to Ascension, uh, such a wide variety, different audio clips from um, conferences that we do, and then other interviews that we have also on our YouTube. And I want to take this moment here at the end and just talk to you about a few upcoming things with Portal to Ascension. We're really excited because 2023 we're really blasting off and we have um, a few conferences. We have Portal to Ascension San Diego, April 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. We have Portal to Ascension Glastonbury in the UK. Hope to see some of you there. That's August 11th, 12th, and 13th of next year. And then, or 2023 if you're listening to it now. And then we're also taking a tour of people to Egypt, guys. And we're going to go for from September 7th. We're going to have the Hertax with us, JJ and Desiree Hertax, like you might have experienced on our channel. Uh, Joan of Angels is going to be with us, and also Alan Steinfeld. And actually, I have Joan of Angels here with me right now, so I'm going to just hand it over to her and get your input, Joan, on what we're going to be experiencing, your excitement, and all of that. So this is a critical time in our history on the planet, and 2023 is this reawakening of our... It's, it's just our reawakening of our spirituality and our transformation along this ascension timeline so these events are designed to really awaken you to really bring you to remember who you are why you're here your galactic origins the power the personal power we have within us to shift into the planet that we really want mm -hmm. at the most optimum of potential to align our body mind and spirit to get there so these just to be together in person activates forgotten memories activates light codes activates dna and most of all, activates your happiness cells because mm. the joy in coming together is just extraordinary. So we invite you to come and be with us in any of these events around the world. And even online, we try to create that same energetics. Mm. So we love you all that we are creating a mystery school that goes around the planet and right. off planet. 
Exactly, yes. And just a few websites for you. So firstly, of course, the main website, portal2ascension.org, will have everything there. You can sign up and get 1,000 plus, well, it's over 3,000 at this point, hours of free conscious content, you know, like a streaming platform where you can browse and all that. And then ascensionconference.com for Portal to Ascension San Diego, ascensionglassenbury.com for the Glastonbury Conference, and then the Egypt Tour is going to be on Portal to Ascension or is on portal2ascension.org as well. Um, yeah, so some beautiful, amazing experiences. We're really blasting off. It's time to get exponential. You know, we've been exponential, but now the exponential curve is even going even higher because it's really time for us to remember who we are, tap in our true potential, and make some change on Earth that's better for, creates betterment for everybody, right? And that's why we're doing what we do. That's why this podcast exists. So excited to see you guys there. AscensionConference.com and Portal to Ascension. Joan, any few any closing words? Ascension Glastonbury. Yeah, we're all taking off together. This is this is the times for which we've been called, loves. Can't wait to see you there. Love you all.